What's up friends of the good boot? This is Manny and welcome to the quantum sensor on the Arthur making it the most universal thing ever dude It's insane. Look at this. They can't even suppress me with their weapons with their built-in uh, suppression weapon here So yeah, I'm good man. I can take down this out Jun and the nightingale no problem with my Arthur here I won this quantum sensor. I literally won it in one box opening. I'm not even joking. I feel so lucky. I had 300 coins laying around from, you know, collecting the daily daily rewards. And I was like, okay, well, let's let's just go for one box. And I got a quantum sensor. And I was like, whoa, I have to level this thing. And I did. So now it's uh, level uh, 25 and we have 350 stealth range. And you may rem remember me saying quantum radar on Titans is not a good idea. In general, I mostly refer to the owl main, right? Um, the Kid Titan kind of needs it, because it's so inferior in any way. And the Arthur is, is such a universal super soldier that can't be killed, and it's like super, super tough. But at the same time, it's very slow, so you can always just move away from it and kind of let him stand there, right? So the Arthur, in my opinion, is not unfair, but it can block beacons for a long time and can attack beacons very successfully. And now you no longer have to worry about those millions of our chuns flying around you like these drones all day and just taking you down. Man, this is annoying. And uh, yeah, now, by the way, I'm gonna get a, le a living legend so hard right here on this thing. I'm gonna destroy the living heck out of these guys. Don't worry. With this Fenrir now, this is my new Fenrir that I've built. I've uh, tried to, I've changed from, uh, from Atom, from, from Corona and Glory. I went to, um, you know, Atomizers and Nucleon. Because this gives the, the Ravana a little less damage output against short-range Ravanas, but much more universal use, because now you can also deal damage at long distances when people are further away, which is very, very important, right? You can snipe, kind of, almost, with this thing, and never is gonna be able to, no one is gonna be able to kill you and take you down. But yeah, godlike, beyond godlike. Look how many things I take down. And the physical shield on this guy, it won't last for a long time. He's hitting me with uh, resistance, um, bypassing uh, weapons here, which is kind of annoying, but um, yeah, I still got him. I activated this guy's shield immediately. Living legend already. Here we go. Let's see if we can uh, hit there a little bit. Okay. This guy comes around the corner. I want to get him. I want to keep my living legend up. Okay. And I'm going to ignore him for a second. I'm going to finish him first. Living legend. He comes out of his shield. Living legend. <laughs> and I think now I'm getting destroyed. And then we jump into the Arthur to show you some more quantum sensor, okay? Um, yeah, I think it's really interesting on the Arthur. Finally, you can do something against all those suppressing out the, the nightingales. The nightingales that would hover over you when you try and capture a beacon forever. And now you have the ability to target them and, um, with a quantum sensor. So that's really... That's good against those uh, those beacon blockers that block beacons forever. And here you see the Aochun out there. See him? And he's like, ah, I'm going to attack that Arthur. He's probably not going to be able to do anything. And then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Whoops. And he's done. Yep. That's Quantum Sensor for you. Um, the range of 350 meters, it's uh, it's kind of okay. I was even hoping for only 200 to, be, to begin with, uh, to, to be honest. I think it would have been more fair. Um, but, you know, at least it's not like five or six hundred. And the Ao Ming is the real problem with his laser sh firing shots there over the distance. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage here to this kit. I don't know, he's lagging like crazy, man. Okay, let's get him between his invincibilities with a shockwave. Boop, there it is. Last wave it's called, right? So here we go. And brrrt, helping my friend over there not get killed. And I'm pretty sure I did that. And now let's finish the kit. And another stealth flying robot will come around the corner soon. I think it's there now. You see it to the right? It's an Aochun. And I'm quick switching over to him. He thinks he's safe in stealth. And then he realizes, wait a minute, no, 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 that's not good. And boom, there he's done. Beyond godlike already. Okay. By the way, I played this a little while ago before the update. I've made a lot of videos, uh, pre prepared a lot of video content for you guys before the update with the drones came, so the user interface might be, look a tiny bit different still. Uh, but it's, you know, that's pretty much the only change, except that the drones aren't here yet, which right now pe people don't really have anyways. So, I hit both people. I hit the Arthur and the Ao Ming. 
By the way, why do I not see... Do you see this? I don't see the author, uh, the, the Ao Ming. Why do I not see the Ao Ming behind uh, the silos? What? Why? This is so weird. He's like, it's like he's invisible or something. That's so strange. But now I faked him. I faked the Ao Ming. I stopped firing to act like I was reloading now and hoping that the Ao Ming will start to pick up on it. And look what happens. He does. He thought, oh, finally time to reload. And sorry, man. I just baited you. The he I baited the hell out of you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. This was crazy. This was really crazy. Whoosh. Last wave and finish the Arthur. Nice. We still have almost full HP, man. And we're gonna have one more situation in this match, and then we have another match coming up where I use Quantum Sensor quite a bit. Um, it's really making the uh, Arthur much more universal. Much less of a problem with all those stealth flying nightingales and Ao Chuns. And, uh, oh, wait, behind me is a kit. Oh, okay. Well then, uh, let's do our little thing. Bring up that shield and <laughs> he tries, you see him trying to walk away, trying to escape. Naked second blast wave, boom. And I only lost a little bit of health th through his, um, through his, um, st stove, stove ability. Um, stove, stove ability, I think. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's all. I still have my physical shield. Now the shield is breaking, though. Finally, after such a long time, my physical shield starts to break. The right one is gone. And Mohammed is here, uh, he's shaking his head. So I was like, okay, okay, let's let's just let him live. Whatever. <laughs> we could kill him so quickly now, but uh, it's okay. And look, there's an Ao Chun now. He came into 350 meters range, and so he's dead now. Boom. You saw this, right? He flew towards us, and that's what Ao Chuns do. They want to get into 300 meters range because they can hit with a flamethrower then and do more damage. And uh, yeah, the problem, however, is that, yo, um, they get... Uh, you know, seen then. They are now long, no longer invincible. Uh, invisible. Yeah, my weapon targets him for a split second on, uh, by accident. Uh, but then I'm uh, going back at uh, Alberto. Alberto over there. Cool. Albertozo. And there's another uh, another Auchun spawning right in front of us in just a second, man. I was trying to shield Muhammad here. That was so cool. <laughs> um. But uh, he got killed anyways by my team. So now a full Aochun is going to drop in front of us. Right? Hold on. There he is. And I can see him. And I and now he's face shifting. But I can still see him. So after he comes out of this, boom, blast wave and finished. Check. That would never have happened otherwise. Right? Quantum sensor. I sacrificed, however, a uh, damage module for it. We did almost 6 million damage and 23 kills. My goodness. If you want to see a team deathmatch get, get, get match where I got 27 kills, check out the top right. It's my record by far. Here, another Nightingale flying over us, and I'm going to do a lot of damage to him here. But he's first going to take out this uh, Behemoth, and uh, also take out the other Behemoth there. Because it's a face shifting out uh, Nightingale, and that's what they do. So, boom, got him here. Now, we have more stealthed people flying around. There is. Um, oh, look. <laughs> We have a, a scorpion. I remember this. He, this guy jumped on me so many times. When I played this, I think three, four days ago, this guy jumped on me with his scorpion like four times or so. And every time he did, uh, he got a shockwave in his face from the Arthur. So every time he did, he got downer and downer and downer with his health. I hear him behind us. He, no, that's a different robot. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? I think it's a stealth robot. Yep, it's an Aochun, and he was like, oh, cool, I can t take down this Arthur. And then he was like, wait a minute, the Arthur sees me. Why? Why does he see me? <laughs> well, sorry, dude. And I quick switched over to the other guy. And by the way, um, the, uh, the scorpion behind me got another shockwave to his face. Doing some damage here. Uh, the Aochun got taken out. He's flying backwards. Unfortunately, it takes me a little while to lock onto him. And uh, another shockwave for the scorpion behind us. Hey, man, he really wants me, dude. This this scorpion has jumped on me three times already. And every single time he's ate, he's ate a shock... Uh, a thing. Um, a shockwave. He's gonna come into a, into a, to us again in a second. Wait for it. Uh, by the way, we have this Ao, uh, this Ao Ming here next to us. Uh, this Nightingale with us. Who's gonna do a great job. Boom. 
Uh, he killed that Nightingale, but he's coming back with another Nightingale. And then we're going to have a massively good match. All right, so I got now the Scorpion. Killed him with a Shockwave. Also taking down, almost taking down this guy here. And I have my sh physical shield now fully in front of me and a Nightingale above me. The Nightingale suppresses the Ao Ming, right? And I switch over to the Ao Chun. See that? There's an Ao Chun coming from the distance. And when he's and when I can kill him, I'm immediately going to do this. Not just because I can show you the Quantum Sensor, but also because they are very dangerous and they do da tons of damage. And, um, and they will otherwise start to hide and come with another flight. And since I only had to quick switch over to him to instantly kill him, Man, I'll do that. And uh, Pete, Pit for you, uh, from the Zeus clan, Zeph's clan, or Zeus, Zeus, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, man. Uh, thank you for healing me. That was an insane, that's good. And he's gonna do this again. He's gonna be so incredibly helpful here. You won't believe this, man. He's suppressing my enemies constantly and he's healing me up all the time. Look how much, how fast I'm healing, right? And I also have the healing module still equipped, but um, yeah. Having this healing thing above us that suppresses the enemies. Oh, look, another Aochun. And boop, there he goes in mid-stealth. And his cro the thought crosses his mind. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> All right, I have to reload, but I still have 320,000 HP thanks to uh, the Nightingale behind me. He's uh, currently staying safe next to me. And I'm staying safe here too. And now he starts to fly again. And see, the enemy Nightingale is not starting to fly because he learned that I have Quantum Sensor. So he knows when he starts to fly, he can't do damage to me because his weapons are going to be deactivated in Nightingale flight mode. And, uh, well, uh, he's going to get killed anyways by me, right? So he's actually not flying on purpose, even though he could. Instead, he does whatever he can here to try and do damage with his uh, weapons, which is a good choice. He did a good choice. He noticed what he had to do in order to, um, you know, to, to do the best of the situation. Although I guess healing his friends and suppressing me would have also been very useful. So let's count the invincibility modes that Typhoon is gonna have, okay? Uh, let's count this. 50 seconds is the time, by the way, he's gonna cross with this. So, first invincibility mode on the stupid no-brainer Ravana. All right, first, all right? Here we go, second invincibility with phase shift. Then third one, with Transcendence. Then we have the fourth one with Transcendence. He's taking out, or trying to take out the out Ares, who's phase shifted. Fifth Transcendence now, right? Sixth Transcendence now, because at 50% he gets it back. Then we have Last Stand, okay, which he knows he needs to uh, so make best use of. Then Phase Shift, okay, second Phase Shift, and then the seventh transcendence. Seven invincibility transcendence modes and two phase shift. Eight! Eight transcendence now. Or was it seven? Seven or eight times transcendence and two times phase shift. Fifty seconds of time wasted and the Ares he got killed anyways. Despite our both phase shifts that the Ares and me did, he still got. Oh, the volume is higher. Uh, the music. He still got the um, um, the Ares, and he still wasted 50 seconds of our time. Seven or eight times invincibilities and two phase shifts. So in rid absolute, endlessly stupid. But anyways, this match is gonna be ending here now. We have uh, five seconds left on the clock, and uh, it's gonna be a win. 26 versus 23. Um, yo, so. Quantum Sensor on the Arthur, really, really, really good, good overall um, universal machine now. I like it a lot. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Until next time. Bye bye. Oh, and by the way, I think it's worth it to put away one damage module for the Quantum Sensor. You do 25% less damage or whatever, something like this, 27. Um, actually, it's not 27 com altogether. If you compare that, you won't get the full bonus of 27% again to the ones that you already have with the first damage module, but it's getting too into half time and I don't want to. I want to just want to say I think it's worth it to um, to unequip one damage module and be able to actually take down stealth robots because they do a lot of damage to you and they suppress you and you can't do anything about it otherwise, right? So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Until next time. Bye-bye.